the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast. Invest in sports. Hello and welcome back. This is the Sports Vote Campaign Update Apple Podcast for Sunday, February 13th, 2022, Super Bowl Sunday. A Stern Warning, Season 4, Episode 9. So regarding the mailing list, we will realize a lot more value than just uh, the $400 per acquisition that I mentioned in a prior podcast from this mailing list. It's, it's much greater in value than that over time. I just put that as a starting point. Uh, to clarify about the Wire Act prosecutions in Costa Rica, those were criminal prosecutions. Some of you um, lawyer wannabes need to understand the difference between a criminal case and a civil case. Uh, Criminal requires intent. Uh, There has never been any intent to break the law by me or anybody connected to this enterprise. So the uh, continuing lawlessness of the former president with encouraging... uh, I mean, it just gets, it goes from bad to worse in terms of encouraging violence and still talking about overturning the election. Uh, You're going to reap what you sow. Everyone does, as I will get to in further detail in this uh, podcast. So outside of debt and equity free league fundraising, uh, perpetual income on the trading volume and a transaction tax to governments, new opportunities for entrepreneurs and everything like this is what will come from creating the new sports economy, an entirely new sector, and this is something that gambling cannot offer and neither can anything else. And as I said before, uh, we have something here that will permanently assist the economy. And frankly, I think there is nothing that will be this big. It certainly isn't going to be crypto or any of that. Um, Not seeing that, that's only making the wealth gap worse over time. So back to saying that I don't think that we're going to get permission. I want to clarify this uh, regarding my view of the regulators and trusting them. I don't trust them to give us permission. I don't think that day is ever going to come. I think we just have to um, go out and do the fundraise for the first uh, qualified league or esports league and just do it. Uh, Don't expect them to tell us it's okay ahead of time. Just do it and uh, file an amendment to our no action request concurrently with that fundraise. So I don't want anybody to think that means that it's impossible to succeed from here. I just think we don't, we should not expect them to give us permission ahead of time. So uh, the 2019 Miss USA jumping from her 60th floor, I believe it was, New York City apartment building. Um, Again, this goes back to lots of people unexpectedly dying and this is just this is not normal i mean somebody at this station in life who has even uh you know from a couple years ago being miss usa still going to have so many opportunities put in front of her um in terms of sponsorships and speaking engagements and all that for somebody like that to jump off uh, and kill themselves is just really an indication of the sickness of the economy i'm sorry the uh, sickness of the culture so back to the Snoop Dogg uh, party, which I believe was four years ago to, um, this weekend. Um, the reason that uh, he never came out, if you guys remember, and you can you can Google this news uh, search from this period of time, he was in the uh, he was at the Super Bowl game, uh, but couldn't get in for some reason, and came back very pissed off about not being able to get in. Just Google the news back then; it's there. Um, Ace went to talk to him while uh, the party was going on, and he just wasn't in the mood. So that's the reason you never saw him physically, and he stayed in the in the video game room. Although you could smell the uh, certain aroma <laughs> uh, coming from there. Okay, so God is not going to let ASM succeed. And yes, I said that. God is not going to let ASM succeed unless and until all these present injustices are rectified. Uh, the Leon matter, the SEC case, and the traders in our midst. I forfeited my stake to get here, and being left negative is not just, and it's not going to happen. My job was to incubate this idea, uh, which I have done through thick and thin, 
And nobody gets to profit off of my destruction or my harm, especially when I don't have any upside from the success of it. So unless and until these matters are resolved, nobody gets a payoff, and that's how it should be, and that's how it will be, and there's nothing anybody's going to be able to do to change that. So if you want to um, get your return, then get on side and uh, work towards that instead of against it, because your work against me is not going to accomplish anything. If uh, if I just walk away from this, everybody loses. So you need me to hang on to this until Alper takes over, and then you'll get your return. Make things difficult enough for me, or make me angry enough, and I just put up my pencils down and everybody loses everything. So uh, I'm not going to be left upside down from committing my life to getting this done when other people have the um, financial returns from it. That's absolutely unjust and it's never going to happen. It will never, ever happen. Gamblers can't be trusted, and we certainly have seen that. It pervades your entire life and corrupts your understanding of right and wrong and your morals. I have had one attempted submission to the lies thread the, in, on the forums, on the notice board, one attempted submission from an anonymous person. As I said before, I'm not accepting submissions from anonymous people, so forget it. That's not going to happen. Try again. One submission. So once again, I call BS on all this. Uh, where are these angry hordes? They don't exist. More lies. So anonymous parties making unfounded claims. You know, it's your soul. I'll say it again, and I'm going to get to this in more detail further down. You really don't realize the risks you're taking here. Um, two requests for uh, accounting information, two, two, okay? Let that sink in. Out of 950, roughly 950 uh, stock grantees, 13,500 accounts. So that speaks for itself, doesn't it? Do the math. What is two divided by 950 or two divided by 13,500? Well, I guess since it has to be grantees, we'll just say 2 divided by 950. Yes, we have learned some hard lessons about disclosing information to parties without proper vetting. No ID, no answers. The company stock is not public. We have no report, reporting requirements to the public. That means I'm within my rights to verify ownership before answering private questions. I have been far too naive in the past. And I, I'm discussing too much information fell in the hands of, of people with evil intent who used it to damage us and me personally, and that's not going to happen anymore. Uh, we will not be pursuing the SEC uh, counterclaim. That's Alper's decision on that. I put the quote in the forum uh, or on the notice board. Um, there's also been a legal filing from the SEC saying that these discussions are um, proceeding and are helpful in the uh, mediation, so that is uh, looking positive, and it's been stated so by them. I mean, if you look at the document that I posted on the notice board, that's their filing with the court, not ours, so take that to heart. Um, verified shareholders, stock grantees are always open to send questions to help at allsportsmarket.com, and I'll answer them promptly. In our HL, if you guys remember a couple years ago, going on, I guess, coming up on two and a half years ago, um, that would have done it, you know, being able to publicize that fundraise, but once again, stabbed in the back right at the moment of victory. I'll say it again and again and again. We just need number. We just need the number one order that we can show that we can do the job of raising uh, capital for uh, for a, a league or an esports league. Um, all right, so yeah, the link to to the SEC's court filing is in the notice board. Bets happen because you cannot invest. When you can invest, you will. You know, that's our proposition. It will not require billions in advertising and hype. See Tesla, once again, a single qualified fundraise with the press, and we'll, we'll get it done. All those customers, the betting guys have to pay for, $400 and rising, roughly $400 a piece. We'll capture those people uh, through no advertising, just through a few... Um, press releases and nothing will ever stop it from draining away. We won't have to cram promotions down people's throats and spend billions on ads. Make no mistake, this is a war against gambling. It always has been and it always will be. Okay, so as uh, as the Hero Club director said, pick a side. You only get one. Um, the national debt hitting $30 trillion, I said about 
10 years ago, no more than that, maybe 13, 14 years ago, that $27 trillion was the tipping point. Um, the inflation has pushed that number a bit higher. I think if you inflation adjusted 27 trillion, you're you're about there right now. If you uh, do the math on the inflation over that period of time, 30 tr- What I'm basically saying is 30 trillion is 27 trillion. Um, you know, 27 trillion back 13, 14 years ago is 30 trillion now, if not more. So uh, we're uh, on the edge of of the abyss here with. Um, with the national debt and the ability to, of the economy to sustain this without coming to pieces, and stone sports gamblers are not going to get this done. Uh, online sales tax is the same. This is the issue with offshore. Um, and actually, DraftKings CEO just came out and said most of the action still takes place offshore, so it's he's corroborated exactly what I've said. Um, the tax preference... It's sort of like the online sales tax battles that went on a few years ago where the retailers in local places were complaining that they couldn't compete online because they don't have to pay sales tax. And then that's been harmonized so that you pay sales tax on just about everything now when you buy it online. This is the issue with gambling and with uh, cannabis. It's exactly the same. Um, until those things are harmonized, the offshore guys are going to win. They're going to win because of not just tax issues, but mainly even bigger than that is the reporting issues. They don't want that. They don't want to be dealing with government forms. One uh, percent. So I said last time I did the kind of did the math again, and I would say yeah, the number is one percent stick around and ninety nine percent run away. Uh, anytime that uh, there's any trouble, maybe that's just life in general, but uh, it seems to be how it works. 1% are, are solid, 99% come and go according to uh, which way the wind blows, and lots of spectators, but uh, people are cowards. It's just, wow, the cowardice in humanity is, it's amazing that humanity hasn't destroyed itself already, frankly. Um, so I took multiple tours of SpaceX. This is back to why I don't care about the secular world. Multiple tours of st- SpaceX before they stopped doing them due to security risks and people selling their positions on eBay, um, including one of them with Maggie Grace was in the in the same tour group. She's uh, the blonde bratty girl from Lost who I saw again one day at Paradise Cove, uh, which is over uh, in Malibu. I watched a beach blanket type movie movies being filmed there, which was where most of those were filmed. Um, that particular cafe has pictures of every imaginable celebrity, including people like Marilyn Monroe, who used to go there. This, you know, all the back to the fifties. Um, I've been out on on many movie sets of all different types, including cliffside houses and shoots in Malibu, and all sorts of inside and outside uh, sets with Ace. I, I mean, I get it. Uh, my point is, is that I'm uh, I wa- I'm turning my back on that world on purpose. Uh, in full view of what it means. So nobody's ever beat us on court on the merits, and that includes attempting to do the same by the SEC, at least initially trying to force a default, which they failed at. I just wonder why um, these folks, including uh, certain parties in the public domain, are afraid to identify themselves and actually make their case on the facts in front of a uh, non-biased jury, because they'll lose. That's the reason. Um, they can't win on the merits. They can't win on the facts. So they got to play games. And I'm sorry, but that's deception. That's lies. Okay? That's lies. The Washington Commanders, new football team name for the Washington football team. It's in the programming queue to change that. Facebook took a big um, uh, crash on earnings outlook. Um, again, this is a, there's been a parade of these. I take all of these as a warning for future uh, direction of the economy. It's not looking good. Frankly, um, you know, I don't have any issue with Facebook having earnings problems because I think it's the most destructive force we've ever seen, uh, and nobody's doing anything to change that. seems like they're just pushing it further and further that direction. Lots of talk of civil war. I, I don't know, you know, in the, in the States. I, I can't see where those battlefronts actually happen. You know, where's the border, basically, who's shooting at who kind of thing, but... Um, it is certainly not a good time in in American culture right now. Um, it's it's really it's really not not healthy what's going on. Um, certain people need to um, go back and think real carefully about what their motivations are in politics because uh, 
you know, are you just going to set the whole uh, thing on fire because you didn't get your way? That's uh, it's pretty selfish and um, dangerous. And you're again, you're going to die one. All of us are going to die one day, and you're going to have to face up to all this stuff. So, um, I received word that Dan Arcand, who was now, listen, I'm going to say this, and it may offend some of the uh, um, uh, some some people who are related to him or whatever. But look, your life is your life, okay? Um, it doesn't matter whether you die or not. You don't get special graces from me or special sympathies or um, any of that stuff because you passed on. We're all going to pass on. That's all going to happen. In fact, I would say if the roles were reversed, um, he'd probably uh, fly over here and, and you know relieve himself on my grave. So while I don't harbor uh, any ill towards the family, the widow, the children, and so forth, because death is always difficult. Um, you know, we reap what we sow in this world. Um, that's the bottom line. So Dan, uh, who several of you met at the Super Bowl party, uh, passed away on January 26th, 2022. I received notice of this from his widow regarding the succession of his account and his uh, stock grants. So apparently she didn't have quite the same view as he did because it was about a week after his death. I didn't even know who she was that she contacted me uh, regarding that. So I find that a little bit ironic and kind of hypocritical, but we'll let that go. Um, He has been very negative, destructive, hateful, and hurtful towards ASM and me personally in spite of meeting him in person, which he never said anything to me there. Um, No matter how frustrating and disappointing that was, and and I'm sure he's in the list of witnesses for the SEC who didn't tell the whole story, so scratch one witness there if they had any. um, As I said this a long time ago, that that the the directors of that uh, online forum are principal parties in the action. The timelines match. The, I mean, that's how I found out the case was even filed. I didn't find out from the uh, SEC. I found out from, from there. So how is it possible that I would get the notice there before I got it from the SEC? Because the people involved are the same people on that board. Um, don't tell me otherwise. I know for a fact it's that's the case. So um, in spite of all that, I never acted against him or anybody's interest in ASM. That's still true. That's even true of Seth Leon's claim uh, to shares, the Costa Rican shares that were gifted to me, which erroneously ended up in the default judgment balance, which is completely, completely wrong, okay, <laughs> to to attach a value to a gift that I, I gave him that's not converted and then make that part of the balance. I mean, that's just in a long litany of, of um, problems there. The first main problem being that I was never allowed to answer the complaint and had my mouth taped shut. But anyway, God's going to sort all that out. Um, it's days coming. Uh, so regardless of all that and all the difficulties, I still would honor that conversion. And, you know, my personal feelings and emotional trials and tribulations with people's bad actions doesn't uh, cause me to do the wrong thing. Even I know what's right and wrong, and I know that I have to honor these things even no matter how distasteful it may be. Um, and I've never done anything otherwise. And Alper and, and the inner team that have watched me for a long time know that's true. Um, that I've never been, been vindictive towards anybody. I mean, I may get angry with someone and, and say something, but I'm not going to change what I'm responsible for. Uh, I can separate those things. So, um, you know, it is sad that Dan passed away. He's a longtime uh, stakeholder for some reason, turned negative a few years ago, couldn't turn him around no matter what, decided to go on a rampage, I guess trying to, I don't know what the goal was because it was never going to do anything other than destroy his own interest and that of, of the others involved. So there was no productive anything that was ever going to come out of what he's doing, but that voice is silent now. And listen... I warned on podcast two weeks ago, and and even further back uh, to the uh, the case of the entertainer that just uh, you know died unexpectedly. Look, <laughs> he kind of took me to task to that as well, and I said, uh, "Be careful. Uh, you know, you are accountable for what you say in this world." So, a couple weeks later, he unexpectedly, I'm sure, wasn't expecting this. He passed away. So. Folks, I am on a mission from God. That's not a joke, okay? If you want to understand that 
more clearly or you want to hear the other parts of that, it's on the other series, not this one. But yes, this is an anti-gambling march. This is the sum of everything uh, that I've ever learned and every connection I've ever made. And that is the case. Um, that's what's going on here. So, uh, you know, at some point, God will stop you. Okay? God will stop you. And, um, you know, just uh, if you don't, if you want to, you know, you're, you're, you're not just chancing the life you have here, but you're, you're putting your eternal future on the line by, by continuously trying to damage something that I'm just the custodian of. Um, I absolutely guarantee that in every single case, everyone who has done this has been tapped on the shoulder, so to speak, many times by that little voice that says, knock it off, knock it off, knock it off, knock it off. And at some point, the hammer comes down. Um, PayPal warns that consumer spending is about to fall sharply. I've said for months now that the stimulus programs and all that are winding down. All that stuff is winding down, and that's where the economy, um, it's really been fake growth. That's where it's come from. So I think by summertime, you're going to see uh, problems. Um, it's already starting. Oh, and the Super Bowl ticket price is falling. Uh, that's very interesting. Uh, apparently, they they don't have the level of participation they were expecting even from the local market in Los Angeles. So that's that's pretty interesting what's going on there. I um, want to point out here that um, the current operative entity of all sports market is the nonprofit, and I'm the managing director of that nonprofit. The for-profit holding company does not take over until we move into full operation. That's the GSFE side, and that's uh, Zach. If you, if you understand the exact structure, Zach was the GSFE uh, president, not the holding company president, and not the nonprofit. So all of this, um, you know, those of you that are trying to claim that somehow you have shareholder voting rights and can, I don't know, throw me out or throw me in jail, I don't know what your, in, your ideas are, but they're flawed because the directorship is the nonprofit. Okay, just go to the terms page, go to the legal page on ASM, and you'll see that the operative entity is the nonprofit. So there's no removing me from that role um, through a shareholder vote, even if you could do it. It, it, will, it won't have any impact on that. So again, you're, you're wasting your time and effort, and your logic is completely flawed. Okay, the, the holding company, CWH, that's the one that everyone has grants in. But that's not the operative entity right now. And then GSFE is the one that um, was set up for the or is set up for the uh, full proper one to one normal market for profit market. And that's the one that Zach is uh, still listed as director of. OK, so lies proven as of today. Uh, this is uh, February 12th, although this episode is for the 13th uh, Super Bowl Sunday. Zero. Two accounting requests out of nine hundred and fifty. Uh, stock grantees, two, two accounting requests. The Facebook crypto project is dead. Um, that's good news, actually, although I'm far more concerned about the, uh, the meta part of it, the metaverse part of it, although th this disconnects one part of it. The misery index out there, which is uh, job satisfaction in the economy, is, is ticking down hard because jobs suck. <laughs> Basically, you have really high-level jobs, um, and then you have warehouse and delivery jobs, I mean, and fast food. That's kind of where the economy is. You have the really high end, and then you have minimum wage or very low wage uh, infrastructure type, you know, basic fast food, delivery trucks, warehouses. That's all there is. New exciting jobs. New sports economy, it's not going to come from gambling, folks. It never has, never will. Um, but it will come from creating a sports investment env uh, environment. The um, XRP is um, making progress with the SEC. This is important because it's a talking point with our settlement negotiations. Um, XRP being attacked by the SEC while <laughs> the other ones like Bitcoin are allowed to flourish. It's just, it's hypocrisy. It's just hypocrisy, hypocrisy. But anyway, um, you know, it's favorable for our uh, settlement negotiations that XRP succeed in this and uh, get the SEC off their back. So a half-truth is a whole lie, okay? Half-truth is a whole lie. 
My best friend in the world of more than 40 years works for the richest and most interesting man on the planet, who, by the way, lives in an aluminum building and owns no homes. Um, the richest homeless man on the planet. That's kind of funny. Um, and is one of the first employees of that company. Um, taken multiple tours of that facility, like I mentioned before. My point again is that anybody who tries to impeach my credibility on the um, vow of poverty, yeah, go screw yourself because uh, have you done any of these things? And I've done all of these things, including the stuff I mentioned on the last, uh, the last podcast two weeks ago. Bob Saget bumped his, oh yeah, he's the one that uh, Dan um, wanted to get all, you know, said how unreasonable. Look, Bob Saget was a filthy, rotten scoundrel, okay? And uh, he was making his money off of really awful, awful, awful uh, comedy. It's not, there's nothing, it was, I saw a bit, a bit of it. It wasn't, it's not even close to funny. I mean, it's vulgar beyond description. So anybody that laughs at that, I would really question what kind of person that was. So here's the problem. He presented himself as a family, the family guy, right? That was his uh, entertainment profile from the TV shows. And then where he was actually getting his money was from just horrendously awful material. So he supposedly bumped his head and died. That's a story. It takes a lot to fracture your skull in multiple places. <laughs> Something is very, very wrong with this story. But anyway, that was, uh, that was an unexpected death that I brought up on a previous podcast, and Dan took, it to t took me to task over this, and then a few weeks later, he's no longer with us. So look... Things are changing in this world. If you want to understand more about this in a non-business setting, because that's what the other series is, then listen to that. I'm not going to cover that here. But um, accounting and uh, judgment are here, and it's only going to grow. That's a warning. You are accountable for your actions in this life. Creating a false name on the Internet doesn't make any difference. Whether you speak it out loud, whether you type it behind a false name, whatever, you're accountable for it. So, look, if you want to make fun of, of belief in God, let me put it to you. Let me, let me give you the inverse. If I'm wrong and you're right and there is no God, then it's just lights out. And I, I live my life as a decent person who helped others and did things non-selfishly. If you're wrong... Okay, the consequences are eternal and dire. So my upside is big and my downside is little. Your upside is little and your downside is huge. So with that, thank you for your time and attention and I will speak with you again in two weeks. Bye now.